Dear brothers and sisters, we gather for this feast day mass of the Holy Family. We invite you to download or print our worship aid that we pray and sing together this feast day. Our entrance hymn is Once in Royal David City. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, happy feast day. As we gather for Mass today, we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family, the patron of our parish, and ask the Lord to help us to imitate their beautiful example of Christian love and to be drawn together in the virtue of faith. And so for the times we have failed to imitate the holiness of the Holy Family, dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
As we gather in prayer this night, dear brothers and sisters, we pray together for the repose of the soul of Jacob, Jason Michael Burns. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. There are various options for the readings at this Mass, brothers and sisters, and so if you're following along in the uh, Purple Celebremos book, the readings we're going to use tonight are from page 78. They're also printed in full in your worship aid. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Genesis. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am your shield. I will make your reward very great. But Abram said, O oh Lord God, what good will your gifts be if I keep on being childless and have as my heir the steward of my house, Eliezer? Abram continued, See, you have given me no offspring, so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him. No, that one shall not be your heir. Your own issue shall be your heir. The Lord took Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abram put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. The Lord took note of Sarah as he had said he would. He did for her as he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the set time that God had stated. Abraham gave the name Isaac to this son of his whom Sarah bore him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he received power to generate even though he was past the normal age. And Sarah herself was sterile. For he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sands on the seashore. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, through Isaac, descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord to you, Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of the Holy Family. We ask the Lord for the beautiful grace to live according to the example of so wonderful a patron. Because, of course, the Holy Family is the patron of our parish. The Holy Family is what we strive for in our living. Because, in fact, that's what parish means in Greek, a par oikia, an extended family, an extended household. Or we might even be able to say a family of families. And so the more we're able to strengthen our families, our individual households, the more we're able to strengthen our parish family and our community of faith in our relationship with God. And so we look at the examples that are laid out for us today in our scripture readings of what a holy family looks like, and it's profound. As we hear in the book of Genesis of Abram and Sarah, we don't hear that they had a charmed life. In fact, the life of Abram and Sarah, we know from the rest of the book of Genesis, they had disagreements, they had arguments, they had difficulties in their life as a family. Their family grew, their family shrank, their family went through ups and downs and yet, what marked the family of Abram and Sarah as a model for us 
as we heard in our second reading, was their deep faith. That no matter what they went through, the ups, the downs, the happy times, the times of grief, they went through it all with faith. And so they are a model for us of what our families look like, of what our families can be as we strive to be holy families and thus to build up our parish, our par oikia, our extended community of faith. We know from the example of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, we heard in our gospel today, going up to the temple and striving and struggling and dealing with that length of journey, not an easy journey, to be practicing their faith, to come before the Lord, to offer themselves to the service of God. And so, brothers and sisters, we ask for that same grace on this, our parish feast day, that our families may be holy families, that our families may be places of faith, may be places of encounter with God, that we may be the people God calls us to be, and so to follow the example of those beautiful models we see in our scripture readings today, to be able to walk with God through the ups and downs, the good times and the bad, the joys and the sorrows. And so on this parish feast day, let us consecrate our families to the Lord, to enable him and open ourselves up to him so that he can walk with us, so that he can sanctify our families. And by being present with us in our individual families, our individual houses, our individual places of encounter with God, we can build up our parish, our par oikia, our family of families, and give glory to the Lord. And so, brothers and sisters, I invite you to stand. I know that we gather some of us here in church and others of us at home. And so I invite you to repeat after me as we pray our prayer of consecration to the Holy Family and ask the Lord to walk with us and help us to be models of faith. So I invite you to repeat after me as we pray. O Holy, o Holy Family, we consecrate ourselves and our families to you. May we be completely united in a love that is lasting, that is faithful, and that is open to the gift of life. Help us to grow in virtue. Help us to forgive from our hearts. And help us to live in peace all our days. Keep us strong in faith. Keep us persevering in prayer. Keep us diligent in our work and keep us generous toward those in need. O Holy Family, may our homes truly become a domestic church when we, where we encounter your presence and reflect your example. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so, dear brothers and sisters, gathered now in faith, offering ourselves and our families and our parish to the Lord, let us renew the promises of our baptism to love the Lord above all things and to reject whatever is contrary to his love. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I ask you, do you reject Satan I do. and all his works I do. and all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth? 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Dear brothers and sisters, this is our faith. This is the faith that makes our families holy families, and we are proud to profess it in Christ our Lord. Amen. And so as we strive to be models of faith, let us now offer together our prayers for ourselves, our families, and our world. For the church, may God's guidance be upon every member in living out the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the salvation of the world and for the conversion away from sin toward the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those undergoing trials, may the Lord bless them with strength and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may the Holy Spirit help us grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may they be welcomed into the heavenly community and rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families and their particular needs. We will be faithful to the consecration we have just made. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those for whom family life is difficult. The Lord may strengthen them and raise them up by the example of the Holy Family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our parish community, that we may be a model of faith, generosity, forgiveness, and service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, hear our prayers, and help us to follow the example of our parish patron, the Holy Family. Give us the grace to fulfill the consecration we have made to you and allow our good works to shine forth in all the world through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite you to be seated. At this time, we have our offertory, dear brothers and sisters. We thank you, as always, for helping us by dropping your envelopes in the basket as you leave church today. And especially for those joining us by video, we invite you also to participate in our offertory by making an online or text message contribution that we'll be able to have the resources that we need as a parish to meet the needs of our families and the whole community. Thank you, as always, for your generous support. Our hymn during offertory is Sing of Mary.
Let our prayers arise before you like incense, O Lord, the lifting up of our hands as a sacrifice of praise. Glory be to the Father, Father and to and the to Son, and to the, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as, as it, it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. Let our prayers arise before you like incense, O Lord, and the lifting up of our hands as a sacrifice of praise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all things. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Luis Raphael, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, for whom we now pray, especially our families. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. 
celebrating the most sacred day on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this world, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace, and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant, Jace, Jason Michael Burns, for, and all those for whom we now pray, who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace, especially the members of our families and those for whom we now pray. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, 
Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us to beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the wave of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. As our individual families are spread out across a great geographical area this day, dear brothers and sisters, let us be joined in prayer as a parish community, and let us pray together our spiritual communion prayer found in your worship aid. My Jesus, I believe, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is Infant Holy, Infant Lowly.
join us for our next communion hymn, The First Noel. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world we may share their company forever, through Christ our Lord. couple things I wanted to share with you today, brothers and sisters. Uh, first and foremost, a very, very happy feast day to you. It's wonderful to be able to celebrate together our parish feast day and to ask the Lord to help us to be that holy family parish, that community of families glorifying the Lord and serving one another. What a beautiful gift it is to celebrate that feast day today. And because today is our parish feast day, uh, the church offers us a plenary indulgence. So what is a plenary indulgence? It is the healing of the effects of sin in our life. It's not a forgiveness of sins on its own, but it's a healing of the effects of sin, the hardness of heart, the separation from God, separation from others that happens when we sin. And a plenary indulgence takes away, wipes away those effects of those sins in our hearts. So we're able to love the Lord better and to be who we're called to be. So to get a plenary indulgence, you have to do a couple of different things. First is to, uh, in this case, visit Holy Family Church on our feast day. So all of you sitting in the pews, congratulations. <laughs> Step one, check. Those of you joining us on video, here's where it gets tricky. I really hope it's Sunday when you're watching this. Because if you visit us virtually on Sunday, check. If it's Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday, as they say on the game shows, eh. <laughs> so we're celebrating the Holy Family Feast Day. So if it's Sunday, where and when you are joining us by video, we're very glad to have you with us. If it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're glad to have you also 
but there's no plenary indulgence, so I'm sorry. So first thing, visit Holy Family on the feast day, even virtually because there's a pandemic on. Second thing, you gotta go to a confession within eight days. So that could be eight days before. If you went to the pre-Christmas confessions, you're good. It could be eight days after. Confessions on Wednesday, 5 to 6.30. Third thing, you got to receive Holy Communion, which again, if you're in the pews, that's wonderful. If you're joining us by video, a spiritual communion can count for that, or you can also come to daily Mass uh, and join us for communion uh, at daily Mass. That would be a way to fulfill that condition of a plenary indulgence. And finally, uh, we need to pray for a Holy Father that he may help us to be a holy family. So let's do that last fourth thing now and pray for our Holy Father. As we say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So, most of the conditions are already met for y'all who are here in church and hope to uh, celebrate with you that beautiful gift of a plenary indulgence, those healing of the effects of sin in our hearts and in our lives. There is also another indulgence for New Year's Day. And so if you come to Mass on New Year's Day, sorry, New Year's Eve does not count. New Year's Day, uh, look, I will tell you more about that on New Year's Day, if you come to the Mass, even virtually, on New Year's Day. Uh, speaking of New Year's Day, it is a holy day, Mary, Mother of God, to start off our new year in our Blessed Mother's hands. And so Mass for uh, New Year's is the priest of Mary, Mother of God. We'll have Mass Thursday at 5 in English and 7 in Spanish. And then Mass New Year's Day at 10 o'clock, bilingual Mass, to uh, celebrate Mary, Mother of God. Um, and the sign-ups for that Mass will go live on Monday morning. And then as we look forward, most of this is in your worship aid. Just want to let you all know, for those who are joining us by video, um, Monday and Tuesday, you know, Deacon Bert and I, we love you very, very much. <laughs> we do. But it's been a long nine days. And so Deacon Bert and I are going to take Monday and Tuesday off. And we are going to spend some time with our families, our loved ones, on Monday and Tuesday. There will not be Mass Monday or Tuesday. We will have Mass Wednesday at noon, usual time, Confessions Wednesday night, 5 to 6.30, and then the Feast Day Mass is Thursday, Friday, and then regular weekend schedule, Saturday and Sunday. You see why we need Monday and Tuesday off? <laughs> uh, and so that's the Mass schedule this upcoming week. Just please know that most important changes, Monday, Tuesday, there will be no Mass uh, here at Holy Family, Monday and Tuesday. And... Yes, I think that covers it. So feast day masses, signups go live Monday in the morning, and then weekend mass for next weekend, the Epiphany already. Uh, the Three Kings got supercharged this year and got to Bethlehem really early. And so mm -hmm. signups will go live Friday morning, just like normal for the weekend. And so that's the news. And the beautiful news again, a very happy feast day to all of you as we celebrate today the Feast of the Holy Family. And so, brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. Amen. May he lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional hymn is Go Tell It on the Mountain. Hold